Hola, me amigos. Uh, muchos gracias for watching our channel today. As you can see, I've been working on my uh, my Spanish. All right. And as you can see by the orange hat upon the head, uh, it is hunting season, and I have been out hunting. We have removed a couple of guns from the gun rack behind me, and uh, we've been out looking for winter meat. So that's where, you know, that's one of the places we've been. Let me tell you, RC is the master huntsman. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. RC is the master huntsman. All right. So anyway, got my hunting hat on today. This is almost look like a shiner when I wear it like that. Or no, Shriner, Shriner. Shiner was Jack Nicholson in the movie. <laughs> this shine. Oh, shining, shining. Okay. It's morning. I'm not a morning person. Okay, we've got a special episode today. It's going to be crazy. It is more viewer mail from down under. Down under, mate. That's right. I know a guy in Australia. He's a good buddy of mine, and he sends me some stuff every now and then. So we're going to get to that in just a second. We're going to talk about the cool sponsors we got. All right, because if I don't talk about the cool sponsors, RC over there is going to quit. And he's the only guy that works for free. So, <laughs> I love you, man. All right, here we go. Sponsorship time. Oh, yeah. All right. Mountain Dew. The choice of dentists everywhere. They love this stuff. It's wonderful first thing in the morning, Mountain Dew. If you haven't done the do, do the do, because if you don't do the do, I want to come and see you and tell you to do the do, I guess. And beans and weens, beanie weenie, Van Camp's beanie weenies. Do not, do not leave home without it. Don't leave home without beanie weenies. You got your beans. You got your weens. So you got beans and weens. You got beanie weenies. I just sent one of these out. I just sent one of these out to our contest winner, Travis. Hey, Travis, what's up, brother? Uh, sent him that out with a couple of Smith & Wesson knives. He is enjoying those right now. He probably opened his can with the Smith & Wesson knife, and now he is enjoying a wonderful, delicious meal of beans and weens. That was an autographed can of beanie weenies. Autographed by me, which means absolutely nothing. All right, so uh, let's get to your mail from down under. Okay, so I removed the uh, the packing information, so I don't want anybody looking at it and saying, hey, man, I know that dude's address. Okay, so here we go. All I'm going to say is, is he lives in Australia somewhere. So here's this big old box of stuff. Let's see what is contained here in wow wow it's like falling out everywhere unbelievable now this is bubble wrap but it's not just any bubble wrap this is bubble wrap from australia and when you pop it do you smell air from australia no, because it was made in China just like everything else was. All right, so there's that. Uh, oh, nice. I got a very nice, I got a very nice postcard. I'm not going to show you the uh, message or anything on that. That's a personal deal, but I got a nice postcard. And let's see what else is in this box of wonder. Here is the is eBay thing, looks like. I got a little license plate magnet that says Gold Coast of Australia. Check that out. It's got a guy up there surfing, a couple of people surfing, man. Can't do that in Arkansas unless you want to do it on the river. Okay, let's see here. We also got another magnet. It's, uh, it's a picture of uh, an Australian guy on a, on a hundred note. Whatever Australian money is, that's what it looks like. So anyway, that's gonna go on the fridge. So I got a couple of fridge things there. Ooh, 
These look neat. I don't know what these are yet, but I'm going to check them out. So here we go. I want to tell my friend out there in Australia, I really appreciate it. And uh, I want to send good wishes to him and his family for the holidays. Look at this. So this is a ring like that right there. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look nice, really nice? On my crazy weird finger? Yeah, that looks good. I walk down the street like that. You don't want to walk down the street like that. You want to walk down the street like this. Now you look like you got money. And then if somebody wants to fight, gives you a problem, you turn around like that, you give them the old, uh, you give them the old cat ear and lip, man. Check that out. All right, so there's uh, Uno Numero Uno. Oh, look at this guy. Here is another one. Ooh, this one's a little bit different. This one's called the Pretty Kitty. This one's called the Horn. The horny ring. Oh, this one's bigger. Oh, it'll fit on the old ringy finger there. Look at that. Now I'm ready. <clears throat> Six months in the hospital, sudden death. All right, there we go. I don't know if I'll be able to get these off. That one came off. Let's see about this one. Ah, slid right off. Okay, so I got some cool stuff. My 10 year old daughter is probably going to be wearing uh, that smaller one and uh, making sure that the bullies don't mess with her. So, bullies, watch out for the, the, the pretty kitty claw. All right, what else we got in this big box of magic? Now, my friend knew that uh, I asked specifically for a, a good neck knife. I've been looking for a good neck knife. And he sent me cold steel spike. He also sent it with a chain, a ball chain. Wow, let's check this guy out and see what we got. Wow, look at that now. That's a neck knife. All right, so as you can see, it's got a nice positive lock system here. So it doesn't just fall out. That actually goes in there and snaps really tight. And you got to pull on that a little bit. There it is, the cold steel spike. My new camera is in reverse. So that says Ecops, but it says spike if you uh, watch this in a mirror. Hey, let me tell you something, man. That blade's sharp. Cold steel makes a sharp blade. Point T. It's got a nice little handle on it. And I know that, uh, you know, some people are going to say that, that handles a little skinny. Well, it's a neck knife. So part of it is uh, that you need to, uh, you want to have it for, you know, comfort when you're wearing it around your neck. Also, as you can see, it's got a couple little areas here where you can tie it off with cord. You can put it on a backpack, whatever you want to do. And you can carry it that cool way where it's upside down. Like right up here if you wanted to, like all those cool dudes want to do. So there you'd have it on your pack like that and pull it off. Or you can wear it on your neck like this. All right. So there is that. What else do we have? Heavy box this time. We got more of this packet stuff. There's something in here. Protector knife. I have no idea what this is. The big box though. All right, looks like this is it. Maybe it's the Coupe de Grasse. All right, protector knife. Let's open that up. Ooh, nice heavy leather sheath. You can see there, double stitched all the way around. A nice looking sheath. That's actually made out of cowhide, man. Some of the knives I get are not. So I had a dream last night, and RC does not want me to talk about this, but strange, strange, I get this package uh, from my friend who is a platypus hunter, and then RC over there doesn't want me to talk about my weird dreams, but I dreamed that I caught a platypus, and it was riding around in a car with me. Is that, is that odd? Platypus in the car? Yeah, it was a car that I used to have. It's, it's not my car now, because I got a truck now, but it was a... It was a Monte Carlo. It was like a 1987 Monte Carlo. Really cool car. 
All right, so <laughs> I caught a platypus, man. What can I say? All right, so as you can see here, this is heavy, man. This is a thick, look at that. And this is not your regular type of little bolt nut setup, man. This has got like a big heavy duty, all right, thick, heavy hand guard. This is gonna be one of those Australia knives, man. That's not a knife. That's a knife type of deal. Wow. Wow, look at that thing, man. Look at that. So, Croc Hunter. This is the Croc Hunter, man. And uh, you can see it's kind of uh, serrated up here on the top. That's for, that's for cutting Crocs or something. Hey, that's sharp, man. Usually when I get a knife in from uh, through the mail or something that I've ordered, it's not very sharp, but that's, that's got a decent edge on it. Nice, heavy, good weight. It's well balanced for, uh, for the size, but you've got this guy back here in the back, you've got such a long blade. How do you balance that out? Well, they've got, uh, they've got some heavy weight back here on the back. They got some heavy weight here on your finger guard in the center. And it's got a nice, heavy, thick handle. That's for a man hand right there. Look at that. That's for a man hand. This is slightly reminiscent, slightly reminiscent of um, a Rambo 3 knife, the, uh, the uh, Afghanistan knife that he carried. It is similar to one of the Gil Hibben Rambo 3s. But anyway, look at that, man. What a gift. What a gift to receive from a friend of mine in Australia. How wonderful that is. I do thank you. I do thank you, my friend. This will uh, this will go to good use. I will be using this the next time I decide that I want to hunt elephants. All right, I'm going to hunt elephants with that. But anyway, <laughs> wow, look at that thing, man. I'm gonna carry this in the sheath in the town and people are gonna be like, what? What is this guy doing, man? But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So there it is. Uh, if you decide you wanna get one of these, there's a company out there. I think they're mainly on eBay. I got a little eBay thing right here from them and uh, they're Gone Walkabout Australia. Gone Walkabout Australia. Gone Walkabout Australia. Walkabout's all one word. That's how they say it in Australia. They're gonna go, they're gonna go, go walk about or go and walk about. So anyway, there it is in the sheath. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful knife. You got the hints of the dark up here in the wood that matches the leather on the sheath. Wow, very nice. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, I don't know how to repay you for this, but I certainly do appreciate it. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, another wondrous package from down under where the women glow and men plunder. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the way it goes. All right, definitely be going into, uh, definitely be going into my hunting gear. And uh, as far as the uh, cold steel spike, if you want a decent neck knife, if you want a decent knife, uh, uh, bag knife hangs outside, very good one. Very good knife for uh, for uh, protection, and as you can see, it is full tang right through there. You see, it's one solid piece goes all the way through. So very nice, full tang neck knife. Thank you so much, my friend. I do appreciate that. I hope you and your family are well. I hope everybody out there watching your family is well. Please, please continue to watch. Click like and subscribe and uh, touch the bell and all that stuff. Um, and uh, if anybody has any questions about, hey, where do I get some of this stuff or whatever, hey, just give us a comment down below and say, hey, whatever. Comment on anything you want to. Uh, we love talking about stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you on the next go round. All right.